Vortex. We went live. Oh, we went live. I got to do it. Jeez. You know, this was the most unprepared I think I've ever been for one of these darn shows. I can't wait. I'm super excited. I hope, I just hope this works. Wow. We're going live in a lot of places tonight. Eight places for the first time ever. So we are on Aaron D. Johnston's Facebook, Scott Sikora's Facebook, Holy City Beard and Mustache Society's Facebook, Texas Craft Whisker Club, Talking Beards, The Beardcaster, Talking Beards YouTube, and Talking Beards Twitch. And TalkingBeards.com. And TalkingBeards.com. We are streaming to nine places tonight. Yeah. That's amazing. All, all the places. There's three people watching on Holy City Beard and Mustache Society. What is up? What is wrong Maybe with those people? Charleston people. I don't know. Wow. Guess what? It's time to go live. It is. Are you ready? No. Go ahead. Are you Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, hey. hey. Oh, hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was too much having fun because that's what I said. Like I, I was so like we were you all you all will see shortly what we were up to before the it's show. Pronou done. It's pronounced y'all. Y'all oh, will see. Y'all yeah. will see what uh yeah, what's going on. Why Scott was not prepared tonight because he may have been playing, but that's fine. You know, what most of the time we we have no idea what we're doing over here anyway. Oh hey. So, Oh, hey. So let's just get this started. I am Aaron D. Johnston, and tonight uh, I am on location at. Uh, hey, Zach's here. Zach so is here. I, <laughs> Zach. So I made it to Talking Beards Orlando uh, Studios. Luckily, they had it all set up for me when I got here. So hopefully, you know. The internets and everything works. So tonight, this is episode number 80 of Talking Beards. Uh, we will have Mr. Chad Roberts on the show from RVA Beard League fame. And uh, also, we'll have a special guest here in about five minutes to uh, discuss his his newfound facial hairstyle. So yeah, like I said, I'm Aaron D. Johnson. I'm over here. And where are you at? This That way. I'm right here. All right, I am Scott Sakura. You can find uh, more information about me by going to my Facebook page or Instagram. Uh, but we request that you guys go over to the uh, talkingbeards.com because there you can find all the things Talking Beards. We have the podcast over there. We have the live shows over there and all the old shows. Um, what else do we got? Oh, we have the Teespring t-shirt store, which... There's some breaking news coming from over there tonight. Yeah, breaking news coming from the uh, the uh, Talking Beards store. Yeah, those, um, those guys have been working hard over there. That's what she said. Charlie Vaughn, what is up, guys? What is up, guys? Four Rivers Smokehouse, where y'all are here. While y'all are here. While y'all are here. Yeah. yeah, that's me. But yeah, so go over to talkingbeards.com and uh go subscribe to the podcast, go follow the show, whatever. Um, and also we're like we said, we're broadcasting live on our Facebook pages. Uh so if you have any uh if you want to make any posts over there, you can go over to the BS button beard bulletin board. <laughs> I'm a spinning hat. I don't know oh. how to make it stop. It's not on, <laughs> it's just slowly turning. Oh, yeah. Know. Amazing additions to the Teespring store, yes. Um, oh, yeah. Andrew's already bought 14 of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now is the time of the show when we do what, Aaron? What do uh, we uh, do? What do we do? So this is the point in the show where we tell you that you need to share. Share this episode. You share it everywhere. You can even share it where we're already streaming it. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be everywhere. Yeah, if you uh, if you guys know any people that are uh, into the beard community, it, either com the competitive side of the community or uh, any of the other sides, um, being like the garage sale side or house painting yeah. side, the trades, yeah. whatever. I mean, just anywhere. Tell, tell tell someone about the show and uh, let them know about it because the more people that know about it, the better for the community or more gooder for the community. I mean, yeah, it's pronounced more gooder. Yes. Jake Jones is here. He says, oh, hey. 
Oh, hey, uh, Jason Jones. Shannon Chickenbread is also here. He says sup. He does. He must, sup. He must, must be the beginning of supper time. Mm, yeah. So oh, you, you missed this one. How could you miss this one? Oh, hello, hello gents. 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 Hello. She must be in England tonight. That's right. Hello, gents. Uh, who else do we got here? Oh, yeah. So Chicken Barrett will probably say uh, she her is. later. No, I got in trouble for last week. She said I went too far off the the beaten path. She said, "Of what? Uh, I don't know. Apparently, she thinks Talking Beards has some sort of format that we stick to. Hmm. Formula. I I got hit. So, all right. So, right now, we have a special guest that we are going to bring in, and uh, this gentleman goes by the name of Jason Kylie. Why don't we why don't we bring him in here, Mister Aaron D. Johnston? Hello, Jason Kylie. How are you doing tonight, sir? So, Jason was on the show last week, and he had audio. This week, he's trying something a little bit different. He shaved his beard off, and, and he can't talk he now. Of, yeah, he can't. He can't talk now because uh, he shaved his beard off. Oh, there he is. Oh, never mind. We lied. Hold on. Hold on. Talk. Oh. Now, he's like a it's good. he's like a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? You uh, you look a little different this week. So, uh, yeah, uh, I lost two pounds. So, yeah, living that mustache life. Oh. So, what kind of changes have you noticed? Uh, do people look at you a little differently now when you go out in public? Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't go out in public too often with the whole COVID. And when I do, I usually have the mask on. Um, so I guess I haven't, I haven't really experienced much of people interaction. So basically no one, no one would recognize you then. Uh, no, no. I've been incognito all the time now. This is great. So, what was the grand total that you ended up raising for? I think for shaving, we are shaving at, that off. Tell us a little bit about uh, it. Uh, the campaign is still live um, because there's more media coverage kind of oh, okay. spreading, spreading around. And so uh, I think right now we're at 8800 8, so $8,800. Or somewhere close to there. That's amazing. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so think, what yeah, happens if you do hit the $20,000? Ooh, now I'll have to glue. I'll have yeah, to glue so. My <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Yeah. <laughs> well, buddy, um, you, you look amazing. Your mustache Thank is you. uh, fantastic. And, uh, when when are you going to display this in competitive form for the first time? Oh, this Saturday at Couchvid, um, RBA's online event, and so I will be hopefully be able to get a couple more practices in. Um, mustache category is tough. Like once I don't have all the rest of the beard to um, distract your eye away, um, really realizing that uh, my mustache skills need to step up a bit. So is, like this this. Be, is this going to be kind of what you're going to go for this type of style? Or are you going to go and do like a freestyle mustache? Um, I want to try getting just regular mustache kind of styles down. Like this is the first time I've ever done this mustache, which is almost like the epitome of full beard styled mustache. You need mm-hmm. to do the Burt King to win. Um, and so – I want to get better at this style. I want to learn English style. I'd like to figure out how to do like Taxi Phil's mustache. And so I'll probably stay in mustache for a while and try to get a couple different styles down before I really start growing my beard out again. This well, is I, I think it's amazing. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, we appreciate you stopping by and showing everybody what this uh, magical new mustache looks like. So, uh, yeah. Good luck Saturday at Couch Vid 20. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Keep raising that money. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Jason. See you, Jason. That 
That was Jason wow. Kiley. He looks so good. So Dude, handsome. that freaking mustache is amazing. Look, I've been practicing my Jason Kiley. I'm going to just be like, look. Look, I'm practicing my Jason Kiley too. Look. Oh, we look good. I make I make cups. <laughs> You're a Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, all right. So now is the time. Not on sprockets when we dance. We 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 got our, our lesson from that one. But uh, yeah, now's the time on talking beards when we uh, bring in the BS button beard bulletin board. And for those of okay. you who are unaware of what the BS button beard bulletin board is, I'm refreshing it just in case someone posted something new, which someone just did. Uh, anyways, um, what the BS button beard bulletin board is? It's a place for you all to go to post anything you would like about. Uh, anything, anything, anything pretty much. Um, we asked some people to, uh, post some videos and, uh, I, so I ended up posting one there. There are a bunch of other posts on. So we did I not bet go there's some good videos on there tonight. You better make sure your video is working and audio and all that good stuff. Oh, it's, it, I think it's going, if not, we'll have to pull it out. Who else is here? Oh I'm God. Kyle, but call me D's or dad. Kyle D's Jason so, the mime look at this all this amazing things going on in the chat room uh oh Crystal Davis they got their shirts this week why is there not a picture of you guys uh posted yeah oh anyways but so let's get back into the BS button beer bulletin board let's bring in some beard laws to uh help us uh work through this hey, yeah yes what's up Matt yeah, we saw you down. We saw you down there. We didn't want you to be lonely. So this is uh, Matt from Beard Laws. He does our news with us, but we're bringing him in for the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board for some color commentary this evening. Oh, I forgot my uh, markers. I can't color. Yeah. Well, you can use your crayons. crayons are way better than markers anyway. So facts, they taste better too. Facts, <laughs> you eat. You send facts still. Yeah. All right. So first item up on the BS button beard bulletin board, Michelle Emerson. Scroll in the BS a little bit. What? Scroll in a little bit. Make it bigger. This? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right. You nailed it. I did. So Michelle Emerson posts, mark your calendars. Mob Fest 4, me and Fawn Hall are going to Jello wrestle. Here's a sneak peek. Told That's all. exactly what it looks like. That's yeah. Well, that is Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at Mob Fest Four, uh, what's that going to be? March third, fifth, third, fourth, fifth of twenty twenty one in Louisiana. I think it's West Monroe. Uh, yeah. There's going to be some Jello wrestling at the pre party. So yeah. So everybody just stay tuned for that. We've got plenty of time to hype this up, but. I do believe Talking Beards may be just a little bit involved in the pre-party at Mob Fest, so everybody just stay tuned for that. Just like just, this, one. just a little bit, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. oh, Zach's mad. Uh oh, Zach, what happened, Zach? I don't know. Why is Why is Zach mad? Well, Dylan, you? I hope you're feeling better. He was in the hospital today. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa! But he's here yeah. for this. Yeah, he's in the hospital right now watching Talking Beards. That's dedication. In a full body cast. Yeah, so the Jello wrestling is all my fault. So every Wednesday night on the uh, Beard Mob page, uh, Monty and Boo have a three-hour ramble fest, and I like to get on there and make fun of them. And then it ended up being that Boo said that Scott was cooler, and then I said I was going to fight him, and then I said that I only fought in Jello. And then one thing led to another, and now Michelle Emerson and Fawn Hall are wrestling in Jello. <laughs> that's, that's well played. It. You don't even have to fight in Jello. Nope, nope oh, not at all. Right. But yeah, keep going. Let's roll. They were wrestling. Wrestlers. Corey Guile writes uh, Beard Mob presents Beard on the Rocks online edition. Um, or if you can't make the live, come see us Sunday for the online competition. There you go. So there'll be a uh, live in-person beer competition on Saturday and then the online competition on Sunday. So I like this. What's the date? That's not this weekend, right? That's the weekend of the second. It's the first and second of August. 
If you just would have waited a moment. <laughs> yeah. well, he knew what he was doing. Well, see, Corey just posted this. Like we had already brought up the uh, BS button beer bulletin board. We were flipping through it real quick. And uh, I wanted to refresh it before we went live. And next thing I know, there's a whole bunch of posts up there. So oh, nice. look, talking, talking birds, talking birds, Hill Dylan. So good job, Brett, bro. Big bird. Big bird. Talking big birds. What other talking birds are there? I don't know. Peacocks. Penguins. Ah, ah. Scrolling. Look at this. Corey says August 1st and 2nd. Yeah, that's good because it also says that on the screen. Oh, tell us about this here. Yes. Yeah, so I can't see those. It's too small now. But I think. Uh, well, what so is it? It is the numbers for the categories of the Couch Vid 20 that'll be held this weekend on RVA Beard League's uh, Zoom page. So I think you can go to beard, beardleague.com. Oh my gosh, rvabeardleague.com and follow the links and get registered. And yeah, so this is how many people they have in each category so far. So it's looking like uh, the, the uh, whaler category is the the most full. So if you would like to participate in the online competition this Saturday, get over there, find, find the event page on Facebook or RVA beard league.com. It looks I, like I, the full beard, natural styled mustache and these mustache styled uh, are also with the mustache style. Oh, those are all the same. Yeah. Those ones uh, appear to be caught up with the, uh, Oh, there's two different charts here. Look at this. Yeah, there's two different charts. I, I looked at it briefly before the all right. show. All right, all right, all right. I'll be in there. I'm competing. <gasps> Aaron, what is this? Yeah, so this is going to be the uh, brand new breaking news for tonight off of the Teespring page. Go to talkingbeards.com, click on store, and you, you yourself can get the brand new Newly designed Talking Beards fanny pack. That's so couchvid dash twenty dot beardleague dot org. Sorry, Chad. So yeah, we'll we'll definitely post that and uh, we'll put the the proper links. But yeah, sorry. Actually, um, all these links for all the uh, the Couchvid online competition are in the notes description for the show. Um, also, there is a link to the RVA Beard League in the description for the show. There is also a link for the Alliance in the description for the show. I put lots of links. All in there. the links are there. That's that's pretty much the moral of the story. So, except the sausage links, right? But yeah. So back on track here. This is our new fanny pack. Go buy it. Thank you. Now, when you go in there and look at it, let's. I'll, we're just going to show you real quick. Look what also we have. Can you believe that? It's the wow. Talking. This is this is pretty good. This looks good. I like I like I'm this. So oh yeah. We have oh, the fanny wow. pack, and we have. Did it? Is it not there? Oh, it no. is not. Nope. <laughs> it opened in the new window. <laughs> I'm glad. I was, keep, I was like, "What am I missing?" Nothing. All right. Let's uh let's listen guy. to what this this dork. Oh, this is going to be way better than yours. Watch this. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, good morning, BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board. I'm I'm not gonna tell you who I am because you know who I am. So I'm just driving down the road. I'm thinking I'd like for you to post a video on the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board and let everybody know what's going on in your neck of the woods. So just make a short little video and go on up and post it now. Now on the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board now. Such a dork, <laughs> man. That's that's so much better than the one that you copied of me. All right, here we go. Here's oh, another here video go. from Alan. All right, are we ready? Let's get. We this are. One. Okay, this is what Alan has to say. <laughs> here's my here's my silly little girl. That's Alan's silly little girl. That is. <laughs> That's what's going on in his neck of the woods. 
Mm-hmm. That is a cute dog. What's the dog's name, Alan? Let us know. Silly little girl. So this weekend in Valrico, Florida, there will be a live vendor market and beard competition. So it is going to be presented by Beard Mob Florida, and all proceeds will be for just one. Uh, we will be down here. Uh, that's We're in Florida right now. We'll be over there. So, yeah, uh, vendor market is 11 to 3.30 in the parking lot of JF Kicks. And then the live beard competition will start around 4 o'clock. Um, it'll be outside so everybody can social distance and there will be a what they call a plethora of honest Amish masks on hand. So if you, you want to mask up and I don't know how well that'll compete, but you can you can do whatever you want. You can just hang out. So if you go inside, you have to wear a mask. So we'll definitely be outside. And yeah, so everybody come out. Um, there's plenty of honest Amish products, probably for everybody. It's a. Uh, they sent a lot. So yeah. if you are in the Florida driving range, maybe come on out Saturday and say hello and, you know, get some stuff and see me and Natalie and compete in a beer competition and help out a charity. And if you guys get one of those really cool uh, Honest Amish masks, make sure you take a selfie with yourself in it and post it on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board or also post it on the Honest Amish uh, Facebook page as well. There you go. Everybody just post them up everywhere. So we'll. We'll uh, we'll get them out there. Yep, Aaron D. Johnston. I so this is this is uh some guy that we might have on the show later on talk about it. I don't know. This is a uh, Couch Vid Twenty. This is going to be the RVA Beard League's online competition. So mm-hmm. it'll be this this weekend, uh, July eighteenth. I believe it will start around one p.m. Why don't and- you let Chad tell us? Well, I'm just I'm. It's on here, so He's yeah. Hype, man, he's pumping it up. I'm pumping it up, and I just like not my mic. Like those sneakers. He's just yeah. Keep going. All right, we have the uh, Texas Craft Whisker Club is recruiting competitors for chopped craft beards. Let us know if you're interested in putting your name on the list, or if you want more information. Uh, we're looking for volunteers to send uh, identical boxes to battle contestants. You pick the theme, you pick the items, and you send it to the battle competitors. So, oh, uh, breaking news on that. Uh, you and I are sending the next box by Monday. Oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. if you guys are interested in doing this, go over to the uh, Texas Craft Whisker Club uh, Facebook page. Joey Rumpel writes We have sad news from St. Louis, but we're regrouping and making the best of it. Grab a t-shirt or ladies tank to help out the girls at the covering house. So uh, since they had to cancel their competition, um, they still have the shirts for sale and all proceeds from those are going to be going to them. So just make sure you go to the BS button beer bulletin board. You can click on this link right here and it will take you over to get the shirts. So um, Jonathan Redding still have lots of beard mob Indiana patches for sale. So message him and let him know. Um, Barefoot Brains, uh, you've got some new merch in the uh, Room Green Productions. Um, they got some, oh, look at that Chops shirt. He's got some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, he's so, got lots of cool stuff over there. So, yeah, hit him up. Check it out. Okay. Oh, look at this Ooh. guy. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to he's go back. Like, I he's to like, oh, stuff. TikTok's getting turned off, so I need to Stop make everybody. Scott great. told me to do this. So I, I listened to Scott, which is probably terrible advice. But anyways, I'm just sitting in the Beard Law studio getting ready to write another news article for tonight's show. That's what I'm doing. Hope you're happy, Scott. Okay, bye. What's up, everybody? I am happy. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. I saw I saw a smile for a second. It was nice. All right, Mattson uh, posts. Check out the newest issue of The Beard Report. It's familiar faces being interviewed and great information. So make sure you go to beardteamusa.org because they're an organization. And you'll get the uh, current newsletter, which will have some interviews with some of the latest cont- or latest and greatest competitors in the uh, Beard Team USA mustache and beard world. Natalie may have done a little bit of work on it. Oh, all right. This is good to know. So make sure you guys go over to check out some stuff that Natalie did. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, really? That's really all you can give us? Yeah, that's all I got. I was just following you guys. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? All right, go on over to the Beard Mob Ontario's page and enter the raffles. All money made will be going to Kitten Rescue in the area. Look at that. Adrian Heinz says, save the kittens. Save them all. Look at this. Look at this guy. Check this one out. Watch this video. So this was the first video I posted today. Hey, good morning, PS Button Beard Bulletin Board. You know who I am. And I've been requesting you all to be sending in short little videos to talk about what's going on in your neck of the woods so make sure you guys come up over to the bs button beard bulletin board and post something now now did you see mine was way better, better. BS button yeah beard it was board. it was yeah way no. mine. <laughs> mine was a lot better all right we know this guy we just had him on a few minutes ago yes yeah, okay. eighty seven hundred dollars that's amazing that's wild you know what else is amazing matt's mom more tea for charity. Barefoot brains. <laughs> Roomgreenproductions.com slash give dash back. All right. So the chopped whisker battle, which will be this Monday, July 20th, will be Andrew Martin versus Sean Glander. So make sure you guys tune in uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Central and 8 p.m. Eastern over on the Talking Beards. Facebook page and also the uh, Texas Craft Whisker Club page. Um, we clearly also- Scott copied my video. Yeah, I did. Because mine was first, you bonehead. No, false. Uh, yeah, so make sure you tune in next Monday. We will be going live over here talking beards, and we will be doing the craft uh, beard battle. And uh, it's a good time. They're really interesting shows, and it really shows you the inside world of how um, some of the Whiskerinas come up with ideas and how they put them together. But this is a timed event, a timed battle, so it makes it even more fun because no one knows what to expect. They get a box, they open it, and they have one hour to craft a beard. So, And this box is brought to you by Andrew Matson. So, yeah. so It's going to have should- a lot of stuff from Dairy Queen in it. <laughs> Lots of Dairy Queen and probably uh, talking beard shirts. And Canadian stuff. Yeah. All right. Tisha posted this. We already went through this. Um, teas for charities. Barefoot Brains wants to know if you guys would like to sponsor a tea for a charity. Um, go over to roomgreenproductions.com slash giving dash back. Um, and you can uh, find out more information about that. Um, we got lots of stuff going on. We threw another thing about the shirt. Um, ooh, they're, they're on their way to their goal in room green productions. Once again, go check that out. Uh, Paul Kennedy. Here, there we go. Life is life hard. Is what? I said life is hard and it's also long and stupid. Stupid. So all, all the, all the more reason that my beard was better than yours because shut up. Nobody makes stuff like that about your beard. Thank you. Barefoot brains, help him out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's he's good. He's good. Oh, look at this. Look at me. Oh, and Texas look at that. That's nice. Make sure you go over to the Texas Craft Whisker Club uh, page where you can uh, order some of their merchandise, which helps uh, the creators make the boxes that get sent out to the contestants. So any little bit you can give or anything you can uh, purchase from the uh, their Teespring store will help them out tremendously. All right. Well, I think I know there's. I'll do this one, and that'll be it. All right, we'll do this one. We're we're uh, um, Michelle Emerson uh, posts. We're at post transplant week three. So if you guys have been uh, following along, uh, this little tyke here uh, had a heart transplant about three weeks ago, and uh, you can see he's already back home eating a gigantic whopper from Burger King and a mashed potatoes. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm glad he's he's doing a lot better. So. Yes, this is great. So congratulations, Aaron, for doing well and continue on being well and great. So he's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Great. All right. So let's hear it. Ready for the the evening. We're ready for the news. I'm Matt. You're talking beer news brought to you by Beard Loss. As you just saw, that's great stuff on Quintuple B, the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board. I did it. That's three weeks for anybody keeping track at home. So 
things are slowly starting to open back up around the world, obviously with some new guidelines. Some people have come out of the quarantine life fine, while others, well, they came out a little bit different. Some people who worked through it all, well, they appear to be pretty exhausted, especially the law enforcement. I couldn't imagine being in their shoes. A man from Vienna, not the sausage guy. Uh, I was going to say the sausage guy. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. Beat you to it. He was fined almost 500 euro for farting um, in public right in front of the police officers. Officers Apparently, it was provocatively. You know how much money that would have probably cost us, Aaron, if we got fined for every time we farted provocatively in front of police officers? I don't know what that is in, in U.S. dollars, but I think it's a lot. So they wrote him a ticket, apparently, for offending public decency. They even wrote on their Twitter that the man had been sitting on a park bench which I'm pretty sure I've heard that song before, then got up looking at them and letting go a massive intestinal wind, apparently with full intent. I wonder if it registered on the Richter scale. Wouldn't that be cool if no. you got a tweet after you about how you let go of massive intestinal wind? No, I don't like this news story. Well, then in other news, we know how much the UK loves their KFC. So much, we talked about it a while ago. They held a contest to have a KFC wedding. Well, Ian Bell took his horse to the KFC drive through and was left humiliated when they refused to serve him. Mr. Bell and his horse, John John, didn't understand because John John is as good as gold and not a health and safety risk for customers. He even argued that horses and carts were around long before motor cars. Mr. Bell was quoted saying, I had queued up behind some cars and was about to order a bargain bucket when all of a sudden, this manager came out and said, you're not allowed through. That's how I think he said it. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I'd done nothing wrong. John John was behaving himself. He was quiet as a lamb. He was a very well-behaved horse. They then left and went to McDonald's for a Big Mac, and no one there even batted an eyelid. They just served him his food. KFC responded with, hold your horses, Carlisle. We're not looking to stir up trouble and we're sorry for ian and john john's experience but the safety of our guests is really important so we can't allow horse-drawn vehicles in our drive throughs looks like somebody was busy that night writing up new policies for kfc drive throughs and that's wow. it for your talking beer news matt mcleod we greatly appreciate you yeah and so I appreciate what you learned you. tonight is you can't take horse and buggies through kfc no, and you cannot fart in front of uh, police officers with... I think that one was fake. I'm pretty sure that's fine. I, that's what I thought, too. 500 euro? That's one heck of a fine, though. You should try it. Let okay. us know. I, I'm in. And Talking Beards, you guys split the bill? Absolutely. Scott will pay for the bill. You're right. I'll put it on the TikTok for you guys so the world can awesome. see it. I was wondering if John John was in front of the cart. Did somebody <laughs> put John John in front of the cart? He had a long face that day. <laughs> keep them going keep them going all right matt who you have on the show on thursday uh this week believe it or not it's a tiktok guest and it's no. uh, Chez aiden who just hit 1.6 million followers you're you're uh, right behind him yeah and he's going to uh he's going to talk about beards and he is uh the self-proclaimed ceo of tiny hands he does a lot of tiny hand skits on on there so I know that you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be interested, and in maybe yeah, saying I'll, I'll be watching. I'll have my tiny hands on. Oh, then maybe we'll bring you in, and you can you can be the guest, um, the guest interviewer with your tiny hands. Oh my gosh, we'll work like out it. the details. Okay, Tim. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So that's that, and then obviously uh, we delayed trivia. Trivia is gonna be tomorrow night instead, and it's gonna be team trivia. So. Uh, Maybe one of these days we do team trivia. You uh, you two can be a team if you guys can. It's going to freaking happen. One day we will be on there and we will destroy everybody that gets in our way. We will. You heard it we here first, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Kill them. Matt McLeod, we appreciate you. You have yeah. a very beautifully wonderful night. And uh, yeah, we'll talk Beard to you soon. Beard. Yeah, stay safe down in Florida. And uh, Scott, you, you do what you do. Beardlaws.com. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good rest of your show. All right. See you. Thank okay, you. Bye. All right. Later. We did it. I just got really bright. <laughs> you did. Um, like yeah. So tonight, uh, we will have a uh, extremely special guest. Uh, he is the current president of RVA Beard League, and he is going to be uh, hosting, putting on, uh, you know, getting it going for the Couch Vid Twenty, the RVA Beard League's online competition. And we will see what all he has to say about that tonight. And Mr. this is 
This is also Julia's favorite brother. Wow. Did you know that? Chad Roberts. Did you know you're Julia's favorite brother? I did not know that. Or that I had you, a sister named Julia. Julia Roberts is your sister. Yeah. Wow. Why would you disown her? The famous actress. She's my cousin. Oh. oh. Wow. I good job, know. Scott. What to do your research? Damn. Freaking bonehead. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Chad Roberts? Doing good. 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 Uh, I like that shirt. Man, that thing's nice. Oh, yeah. Jeez, See, if I would have known everyone was wearing their honest Amish shirt, I would have worn mine too. Ah. You should have just known. Me and me and Chad don't take them off. <laughs> they uh, they actually smell really bad. This isn't a but, shirt. This is just a full body tattoo. Also, you, know? you one up me. I sewed mine on. Dedication. Yeah, it's like a onesie. So I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Mark says, Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey, girl. Hey to you, Chad. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh. Hey. Not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, you have your full beard going again. Yeah. yeah. How, how did it feel to, to have the most superior facial hairstyle for a little bit? Did it feel good? was amazing until the folks at work got weirded out, which was strange, but uh, I know, right? Like I thought it looked great, and but for a comment, so I'm like, okay, fine then. They're wrong. Nobody They're, they, were, yeah. they were just extremely jealous of how handsome you looked with the goatee. No accounting for taste. Uh, pff, anyway, what can you do? So <laughs> what, uh, what have you been doing during uh, these quarantine times or Chad? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, we adopted a kitten. What's the kitty's name? Uh, Spider. Ooh. Because we have uh, Orhal, Ziggy, and Spider, the David Bowie theme. Ah. Smart. Yep. So, besides adopting kitties, have you have you got any new hobbies? Or are you just massively cleaning the house? The house is, uh, is amazingly clean. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been doing some uh, some online training and, and fun stuff like that. So, and you have plenty of time to work on that. Go ahead. Like online potty training. Yes, because I didn't know how to before. This is but good. now you do. Yes. Thanks, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> now I know to sit down on the toilet. Oh. oh. Wait That's a minute. You're a man. Men are supposed to stand. I was standing on the toilet before. That, that was my. my <laughs> oh. I okay. learned thanks to training. That's right. <laughs> potty Doesn't training, it? online potty training can help you too. Pottytraining.org. Because <laughs> it's an organization it like RV Beard League. <laughs> so what's uh what's the latest news going on with the RVA Beard League other than the online competition going on? I mean, have you guys been doing online meetings? Like what's what have you guys uh got going on? That's Aaron's armpit, by the way. We've been doing uh basically a lot of stuff. With online meetings I would want via Zoom because you don't want to get you know too close to each other and all that. And so we've been doing our business meetings. The nice thing is we can still do our uh, park cleanup. We adopted uh, one of the parks in the county. And so because it's outside and as long as you give the numbers to 10, I guess we can bump that up now. But, um, it's plenty of space outside. You know, we're still using the parks. And so it gives us a chance to still clean up and uh, known up to that. Nice. How often are y'all doing that? Uh, they have us do it quarterly, and so it was easy for spring, and uh, we have a summer around the corner. So You guys could be doing it like five days a week with all the time you guys got on your hands, too. <laughs> you Imagine only pick how... up cigarette butts so often. Well, then you just move on to the next park. You guys should just take, do all the parks <laughs> all the in park. Richmond. And then uh, one of the things that we've done in the past are uh, cash mobs. So what we were, were planning on doing is basically picking a local business or restaurant and each of us dropping like 20 bucks a piece. And we could do like a, uh, like a curbside pickup and then uh, all get together for a picnic out in the park somewhere. And so that way we can still support local business and still hang out to some degree and responsible and all that. And then you can throw all your trash on the ground and then you guys can go back and pick it up. That's job security. Double whammy. Yes. <laughs> Man, you guys are like the most efficiently uh, running club out there right now. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying. I know. I everybody? saw that. Everybody. I saw it on a message board yesterday on the uh, Dawn Dish Soap uh, website. Yeah, I was there. I saw it. 
Is there an oil spill lately? Are we supposed to be cleaning up birds? No, it's something about cleaning, like the best uh, cleaning up uh, procedures done by local charities and local clubs and communities. And it talked about the RVA Beard League and how they're one of the, I'm totally making this up. The look on your face is like you're almost believing it. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm believing believe, all of this. <laughs> believe everything that Scott Sakura has to say because it's he funny. speaks nothing but the truth. I do not. So, uh, Chad, so how, how, uh, How's the couch vid 20 coming along? Or, I mean, y'all are ready to go and we're just ready to click send or whatever. Yeah, Activate. we got, um, we're doing a dress rehearsal uh, tomorrow just to make sure everything's lined up because it's technology and there's you no, know, it can go sideways so many ways. But um, trying Side. to keep things simple. So, we'll see. So, exa how exactly are y'all going to do it? Is it just going to be Zoom, and then will you stream it to Facebook or just on your website, or how how's that going to work? Gotcha. Um, it'll be streamed via Zoom. We'll probably go to Twitch, just because they're a little less stringent about uh, song copyright issues. Not that we're planning or have any, but all it took for the LA comp was to have someone play a song in the background and they're cut off. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. So that caused a big hiccup and a time delay. So if we can avoid that, then let's try not do that. Yeah, so I mean, you this is just, you'll just stream to Twitch. That's that's going to be your main focus. Yeah, from Zoom, you can only do it on one platform. So I figured that was kind of the the best way to go because um, YouTube and Facebook were both a little more finicky. So and we've had uh, other comps uh, streamed over that platform. So we figured that's probably the best route to go. Yeah, that's usually that's the uh, platform that the uh, Austin Facial Hair Club uses for all their things. So uh, yep. we'll we'll also post the link to that up on the uh, Talking Beards Facebook page. So if anyone is uh, uh, looking to watch that, uh, you can click on the link there. Um, I'm sure you guys will have a link directly on the BeardLeague.org site. Yep. That's all um. Right. Yes. Uh. And what I had a question. Oh, yeah. So what I was going to say was. You know, in this whole world of the online beard competition thing, it's it's really cool how everyone's kind of like picking up a little bit from each one's competition and Definitely. like trying to change things, you know. So like you said, yeah, with the LA thing and, and someone playing music in the background just totally derailed the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it you know, just each competition has just been a little bit different, a little bit different. So I mean, what are you guys expecting? I mean, are you or do you have no expectations for this? I mean from as compared to like as what you've seen from other mm -hmm. events well one of the things that i liked about the la comp doing it via zoom so it was live is that while the the judges were off deliberating at the end of the category each of the competitors could like kind of hang out and chat and catch up like you usually do on stage you know for that those couple minutes there and so it was just kind of a, I remember kind of seeing it was a nice way for folks to catch up and have that interaction that wasn't solely like posting a video yeah that there was fun I, I like that who won't be able to make it this weekend and so we submitted videos and photos and we'll, we'll do it that way too and we'll just pull it up for the judges to look at but, um, it's just kind of nice to be able to have folks interact the way they used to you know so it's a little bit closer to what folks remember it was definitely i thought the zoom was the most interactive of all the events i i liked how it all went it just like they were a little bit of a guinea pig, and and I figured oh, someone definitely. Else was, definitely. someone else was going to do the whole Zoom thing, and and it it was cool. You you saw a few things that you could you know definitely could tweak, but mm -hmm. I mean I liked but, it. I liked it a lot. I liked the interactiveness of it. So, but that's kind of the way with any competition. If you go to enough, you kind of pick up on things you like, things you wouldn't necessarily do, and kind of hopefully in general things get a little better as things go on. And do I like I liked with like two categories left at the end of the LA comp, they figured out that they could make the competitor big. So <laughs> notice, think about that. Maybe, maybe more towards the beginning of the comp, you know, the LA likes doing stuff their own way. They waited to the very end to start doing that, but maybe, maybe y'all should do that at the beginning. Just, yeah, just, a thought. Maybe, you know, try yeah, it different. <laughs> yeah. As of right now, we got the whaler category is uh, showing up real strong for this competition. Now, yeah. other than, this whaler category, do you guys have like a specialty category just that's specifically for this event? We were, the only thing we really added was a uh, under two inch kind of quarantine beard category. 
And so far, the people we've reached out to have had beards longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've been reaching out to like local folks and around just kind of like folks who don't necessarily uh, do beard competitions. And so we've had a couple of them sign up. This is good. Yeah, this would be an easy way to kind of fill in that. I've, I think the a lot of the whalers, there are two or three, were full beard, and then during quarantine went whaler. So it's kind of funny to see how things shifted. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a good a good gateway category for uh, bringing in a new new people into the community or into the whole world of com online competitive bearding or the whole beard culture and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you can pull in people that aren't that aren't used to being part of stuff like this, and then they get to see how fun it is or how cool it is, and then they get to see all the different types of beards, all the different personalities that go with the beards, and then what at ultimately what you guys end up the whole purpose of the event is for, which is, uh, when I'm done with this, you can tell, tell us exactly, you know, who you guys raising the money for and like, what's, what's the whole purpose of the event. Gotcha. Um, just a, just a little bit on that. Um, one of my friends for years, um, had always had like a short beard and then during the quarantine grew it out and decided on his own volition to go chops. So this will be his first competition, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But um, we're raising money for Shine for Scott, which is a um, small charity that raises money for young people, younger people oh. with colorectal cancer. And we didn't know about them until Amy had her about. And so it was just something. I mean, luckily, we didn't need to work with them at all. But it was neat to find out that there were organizations doing that. Mm -hmm. Just because a lot of people think colorectal cancer is something that you get a check for when you're 50 and it's an older thing. And apparently, according to studies, like there's an increasing number of young adults, you know, new parents who are starting to develop it for whatever reason. And the it's the screening is easy enough and takes like an afternoon, if even that. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's something quick that you can check for that would hopefully uh, make a change in your life. Crystal Davis poses a little question for you. Are there specific times for the categories already? Uh, there will be tomorrow. We were kind of waiting to figure out how many folks would be in each category before we, you know, did like half an hour for each. So gotcha. it was a little more, a uh, little more accurate. We weren't waiting for too long. So do you still, are you still uh, anticipating more people come getting registered? Do you, have you seen a pickup in uh, registries because you know, Bearded oh, yeah. people have to wait to the last minute to. <laughs> yep. Um, I think we're at 50 people now. There Excellent. were 30 at the beginning of the week. And so, I mean, usually that the week of is when people sign up. We're shutting yeah. off registration at a uh, Friday night at 8 PM Eastern. Just to give us the time to get everything kind of lined up and where it needs to be, especially if folks are doing the, the offline version. So we can download those videos and all that and have those handy. Yeah, cool. we noticed that with our competition that it seemed like within the last uh, probably two days of it is when we had the greatest. I mean, it just was like, bam, 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 bam. So hopefully. We, it too. Yeah. I mean, who isn't? <laughs> Aaron. Natalie. Natalie's not. She <laughs> always does it like as soon as you possibly can. So see, geez. look, a chicken bread still needs to sign up. What a see, moron. Freaking chicken bread. He doesn't even have a mustache. How dumb is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> all right well so i don't know do you uh you want to go over who your judges are sure um decided to go with uh two, two panels of five folks just because it staring at a screen for four hours is you know it's tiring especially when you try to like examine beards and all that so um for the first half we kind of broke it up into like uh, seven and eight categories each um we have suzanne cunningham Marble City in Tennessee. Then uh, Brian Tyler from uh, Mad Viking, Maryland. And then we got uh, some gal named Alice Jelly. Have you heard of her? You know who Never she is? Don't Does you she know who she is? Oh, I think she invented jelly, right? Like, oh. Yeah. Got like it. grape jelly. That's, that's her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she invented that stuff. So this will be her uh, kind of First time back after uh, she had her uh, baby boy several months back. More then, filmmaking uh, experience. 
Then uh, Casey Lillibridge from Oregon, out in Bend. Then uh, good old Mike Wilson out of uh, Minnesota. Never Remember when Mike Wilson used to have a mustache? Those are the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> and then right, we tried so to do. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, all right. Uh, and then for the second panel, we got a uh, Taxi Phil from Ohio. That's where I live. Ooh. The other end. He's on the other side. Yes. He's at the, the crappy <laughs> end. He's at the bottom end of Ohio. Yeah. In Cincinnati where everyone, you know. It's chilly. Everyone, everyone knows your name. <laughs> and then uh, we got Doug Cameron out of uh, Cape Beard and Fayetteville, North Carolina. Never heard of him. And then there's a uh, Tisha Chicken Bread. Yes, we know her. We've heard of her. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Homer Smith out of Maine, who is a newer competitor, but it's, we kind of like to mix up judges of varying experience just so it isn't like the same same folks over and over again. And it lets other people get some experience doing things. And I think she'll do an awesome job. Excellent. I like that. I like that a whole lot. And then uh, some guy named Nate Johnson. Mm. He's in Whaler. I think he's a Whaler guy. Oh, what, yeah, he does, yeah, yeah. Nate Johnson. I think he's from like Minnesota and has a Whaler. He's from Louisiana. Oh, no. Oh. He's from Alaska and has a Whaler. That's why it's Alaskan Whaler. That's it. Yeah. Nate Johnson from Alaska. Alaska. You know, it's a Where small he gets all his gold from. It's a he small town in Alaska. <laughs> he mines his own gold. Yeah. It's Cheaper that gold. way. It is. He pans for it. <laughs> all right well uh i don't know how how how's it been uh i don't know how, what what's been your your thought about getting this whole online competition going and as opposed to doing a uh, real life competition it's requires fewer people and is a little easier to put on because you don't have to deal with venues and all that mm -hmm. overhead costs right right and so it's a little cheaper to do i mean for us we the upgrade for zoom so we could have a bunch of people uh connecting in but um it's it's a new thing and so like we're kind of following our nose and i mean i'm glad nate and the uh bscla folks were able to kind of show us the way yeah so they la has been helping y'all out a little bit on this yeah 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 good, just, good. just because they're the first one to do it and it's yeah. a different way of doing things and so kind of lessons learned always, always helps. Cool. Yeah. And you were, you were involved in that. I'm, I'm sure being mm -hmm. a judge and all that good stuff. So yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm very much looking forward to your competition. I'm, I know RVA is going to do nothing but, but great things. So I'm sure it'll, it'll go real well. And yeah, uh, looking forward to it. yeah well, me too. And I have one last question. I it have one last question. Oh, you do. Okay. I do not have my cousin's phone number. Please stop asking. No, 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 no. How many miles per hour? Or <laughs> move, move your head. 35. <laughs> 35. <laughs> oh, this war is speed. great. Whoa, war speed. Yep. For the tanks? Uh, old sign from World War II. Mm. Is it real? Yeah. That's badass. With uh, bullet holes and fun. Bullet holes are not fun, Chad. They're deadly. Only if they're aimed at you. Yeah, they were. I've named aimed Only if they're at in them. your body. All right, Aaron has a question. Um, so are y'all gonna? Are do you have any type of prize packs or trophies or anything you're gonna mail out to winners? Or we're um, we're still debating what we want to do with those. Um, yeah, we'll see. We're that's what we'll uh, figure out tomorrow night. Cool. All right. Uh, one last question. Sorry. As I was thinking about this, he, uh, Great American, what's the story on that? Uh, right now, we've basically pushed that out until, if I remember correctly, 2022. Yeah, I think um, it's instead, still of doing, instead of bumping it next year and maybe overlapping with Worlds, we were like, let's just get two years out to the next time it would be held and just make sure everyone's healthy, have their vaccines or whatever, allows more people to uh, travel. like. Um, one of our judges was from Canada, and right now that's not feasible. Mm -hmm. And so just to let all the dust settle, hopefully everything is sorted out by then. 
So what do you think you, uh, I know you have a little bit of inside information and I don't know if you can share it or if there is even any information to share. What do you think about worlds in 21? Um, we don't know yet. Um, yeah. we're debating and we'll find out in the next couple of weeks because we uh, need to get together and sort out whether we're going for, I guess really quick today. Cause so we'll, this August, you know, in a couple of weeks, there'll be a announcement as far as uh, what's going to happen next. So have y'all been like talking about it and stuff or? Yeah, we've had like kind of a casual conversations so far, right. but. I know it's. Uh, no, it's uh, no decisions yet. Yeah, it's coming up quick. So it just. Right. It, it freaking sucks. Yeah. I mean, right now, no one can really leave the country if they wanted to. I know. So and then like getting everything prepared for such a major event. I mean, you don't want right. to rush that sort of thing so i don't know well just yeah. looking forward to that announcement whenever it happens i was just kind of curious so yeah i know we can't wait to get to new zealand we just want to make sure we can do it right that's and also right make sure that everyone who wants to go can get there yeah that's the night that's we don't want to have it just to have it and then you know kind of what's the point yeah yeah when 14 people are there so yeah <laughs> and t- <laughs> 10 of them are uh, kiwis yeah yeah, well, I will probably hop on a boat and end up over there. So, Ooh, I will nice cruise. Huh. No, you just hop- a paddle boat. If you <laughs> hop on a, if you hopped on a boat, it would go like this. Depends how big it is. Are we oh, talking man. like a canoe or like with like a ship? <laughs> Aaron just got that. See, he's uh, still slow. I am slow. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You're about thirty-five miles per hour in a war zone. I am. That's uh, that's what they say. That yeah. All right. So we have links to all the uh, the uh, the CouchVid twenty online uh, event is in the details for on all the different places that this is being posted right now. Um, there is also a link to the RVA Beard League on there. There's a link to Chad's Facebook page. So if you want to find out more about him and his, or just would send him a bunch of messages, like just tons of messages or massages. Yeah, or, or massages. Yeah, that's what French for you? message. The tickets are ten bucks. They're they're nine, and then stupid service charges and all that. But yeah, excelente. And okay, and and if you're, people you're, want to uh, enter more than one category, and you can, like a styled mustache and then freestyle beard, or you should say, uh, full beard style stash and uh, freestyle. Feel free, you know. More the merrier. More the merrier. So, all right, well. Hopefully it's a very successful event. I'm sure it will be. And uh, <laughs> Aaron and Scott are going to take a canoe to New Zealand. So thank you, Chad <laughs> Roberts. We greatly thank appreciate you. you. And uh, yeah, good luck. And we will see you on the interwebs on Saturday. And send right. our love. See send our love. Send our love to your lovely wife. Give her a hug. <laughs> good night, guys. All right. Okay. See you later, bud. That was it. That was C. Had Roberts. I don't know. He knew it. All right. So now I need to find trivia. Um, yeah. So tonight, trivia is uh, brought to you by, imagine that, Andrew Matson. He uh, he wrote the trivia, and now I need to find it. So, yeah. Um, I brought a soap down here. So if you would like an Honest Amish soap, win trivia tonight. And then this can be yours for the low, low price of... Getting the answers correct. So, yeah. I don't have trivia ready. I probably should have. Hey, I got it. All right. So, tonight's trivia um, will be Chad Roberts inspired trivia. We'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, look at this. No, put it up there. Look, put it up there. Let's talk. Breaking news. Breaking news. Scott Sakura. Oh, uh, Scott Sakura. I got a dumb full beard. I need you down here in March of 21, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, if allowable for a judge at MobFest 4, eyeballs, eyeballs, happy face, happy face. This is John Fontenot. Boo-font. Boo-font. Yeah, boo-thang. So let's just say we're we're in negotiations for this right now. So Ooh, yeah, you have to you have to uh Breaking buy news. him a limousine to take him from his house down there. So no, no, no. It's renting, no buying. Oh, 
you're, you're I did you're, cost effective, dude. Cost effective. All right. So with that being said, tonight's trivia is Chad Roberts inspired trivia written by Andrew Matson. Brought to you by Honest Amish. Question number one. Ding. What is Julia Roberts? <laughs> yeah, that could be the bonus question. Okay. What kind of beer cans did Chad place in his beard in his now internet famous and often duplicated 2011 freestyle? Ding. Ding. Empty ones. What kind of beer cans did Chad place in his beard in his now internet famous and often duplicated 2011 freestyle? Ding. That is not correct. He did one with Lone Star, but that is not the 2011 one. 2011 freestyle. Shame the chicken bread. Chicken bread. Pabst. Blue ribbon. PGR. What? Wow. Oh, here you go. One. What? Did you? I don't know how to write things. Here you go. Here you go. Question number two. Barbara Millicent Roberts is more commonly referred to by what name? I did not know this. Ding, Julia. <laughs> Barbara Millicent Roberts is more commonly referred to by what name? Hmm. 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 I Ooh. learned something today today i learned not julia just making sure no nope. well uh, not barbara walters bob wah 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 <laughs> barbara mills there it is barbie hashtag flatter in kansas it is barbie hashtag pancake hashtag straight from her bathtub question number three what mm -hmm. continent does the country of Chad reside in? Sea hmm. had. What continent does the country of Chad reside in? Ding, the International House of Pancakes. Wrong. What is Africa? Hold on, Steve got there it. Is. Steve Hegland. It is Africa. Question number four. Fjord. Who is the lead singer of Scoot's favorite band, Nickelback? Who is the lead singer of Scoot's favorite band of all time? And that happens to be Nickelback. So who is the lead singer of Nickelback? Scott's favorite band. Shut up. Scott loves Nickelback. Who is their singer? Full name. Shea Fair. That's good. Chad Kroger. What's up, Jason Schaefer? Comes out of nowhere. I don't know where. Question number five. We would have accepted that one too, but you were too slow, Summer. That's not his name. That's your favorite artist of all time. Don't talk bad He's about it. not. You love him. Question number five. What is the first name of Supreme Court Justice Roberts? Modern Scott. Ding. Julia. Ding. Wrong. Damn. What is the first name of Supreme Court Justice Roberts? <laughs> Chad. <laughs> wrong <laughs> that's funny though hmm and everyone thinks it's chad but they are all wrong 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 this is this it is, is correct but a marta it is john john Roberts, Supreme Court Justice John Roberts. It's almost like Julia. It begins at the same almost. letter. Almost. Question number six. 
What Marvel superhero did Mr. Roberts create into one of his legendary freestyles? What Marvel superhero did Mr. Roberts create into one of his legendary freestyles? And a second clue is the name of his new kitten. False. Mm -hmm. Part of it. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not even the same thing at all. What are you talking about? Keith, stand still. Spider-Man. He's standing still. He is. He doesn't even move. Question number seven. In what state did the United States learn of the Hanging Chad conspiracy of the 2000 general election? Ding, what is Alaska? False. No. Question number seven. What is the state that the United States learned of the Hanging Chad conspiracy of the 2000s? Flo Rida. Steve Hegland. Have you seen any hanging chads while you're down there right now? Dude, there was like 14 of them in the parking lot. Jeez. Question number eight. What facial hair category did Chad compete in at the 2019 World and Beard World Beard and Mustache Championships in Antwerp, Belgium? Hmm. Ding. Uh, the Freestyle Julia Roberts category. Chicken Ball. bread. Goatee, Shannon Chicken Bread. How are we looking, Natalie D. Johnston? Shannon, S- Shannon and Steve both have two, and there's 14 people tied for a second. Question number nine. Hi, Courtney. In what, in what famous movie do we learn of the Dread Pirate Roberts? In what famous movie do we learn of the Dread Pirate Roberts? I don't know what this means. Ding, Aaron Brockovich. Wrong. Ding, Mystic Pizza. Ding, Fried Green Tomatoes. Ding, Princess Bride. Steve Hagland. He's got three now. He's pulling in the lead. This is all you, Shannon Chicken Bread. Question number 10. What did Chad place into his beard to celebrate his 40th birthday at Cassie 12? Hmm. What did Chad place into his beard to celebrate his 40th birthday at Cassie 12? Ding, 40 Julia Roberts action figures. False. More specific, Keith Standstill. It was. Yeah. It was not candles. It's called candless. Very much more specific. Nope. You're wrong, chicken bread. You're, You're wrong, wrong, Steve Hagland. You're everybody's wrong. I was, you're, you're on the right path, but you are definitely wrong. Do you know who's on the left hand path? D. No. <laughs> Is not Lone Star at all. So, hmm. how about a clue? Uh, it's a beer. Here we go. How about that? Budweezer? Nope. Ooh. Wow. I even knew this one. I didn't know about this Princess Bride <clears throat> thing, but I didn't know. Uh, I knew this answer. So if you yeah. were at Cassie 12, what was that, two years ago? Did it have a famous bearded person on the can? Uh, Marta, you're getting there. Oh. Yep. Of what, though? Of what, though, Marta? I remember. I remember. Yeah. There you go. Uh-oh. Come on, Courtney. You got to be on. more specific. Come on, C. Courtney. Y'all are y'all narrowing it down. Think about G.I. Joe. Not Mickey's. 
Not Schlitz. Malt liquor. I, I have a Mickey's tattoo on my leg. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that. You got yeah. the B. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. So, Aaron. We, yeah. We, it's not Colt 45, but you're getting freaking close there. It's not snake bite, but you're uh, loco. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for not everyone. Think of GI Joe's nemesis. Yeah, there you go. You're. We may. I don't know. Jason and Mortar. Y'all, y'all are. Yeah, you, you you're right there. But Courtney, you, you guys, one more word. Yeah, there's, there's y'all are there, but what? It's it's a whole slew of of wording here, so you're you're pretty freaking close. Cobra Kai. This is good. Everybody's just narrowing it down. Just narrowing it down. Captain Cobra. Not Captain Cobra, but that was good. You tried it. That could be a new type. That sounds that sounds like a a really fun drink. Not Snake Eyes. No, you do not got it. Summer. <laughs> she has an upper trachea. There it is. Amarta got it. King Cobra 40. You did it. That was amazing. That's that's worth some freaking Steve soap. Looking, and then Steve comes in. <laughs> premium malt liquor. Yeah, it's definitely premium garbage. So, yeah. Oh, well, we got the tiebreaker. Might as well Ooh. ask it. It's getting so, late. It. Steve Heglin, congratulations. You won trivia tonight. So, uh, make sure you send Natalie or me your address, and we will get you this uh, lavender and clove soap on the way. So we'll do one more real quick. The tiebreaker question. What is the capital of the African country, Chad? Really, Andrew? Really? I can't read this. Anyway, this is this is just going to be a straight Google question anyway, so it'll pop up. So, what's the country? What's the capital of Chad? The country. Anyway, we'll we'll start doing our breakdown here. So, I am Aaron D. Johnston. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching tonight, and uh, we had we had three guests on tonight. That was pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Jason Kiley, for stopping by and letting us see your <laughs> seeing your amazing mustache again. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. So you might have something on the way, Marta, because we knew, we knew that you were going to do this tonight. So might be something in the mail. So yeah, uh, what else happened tonight? We had Bill. we had Chad Roberts. He's amazing. What He's else? always amazing. Chad's always He's, amazing. He is. Yeah, so that's about it. So I am Aaron D. Johnston. I'm reporting live from... Uh, Orlando, Florida studios. What's up, Chad? What's up, Scott Sakura? Me? You want to know who I am? No, you seem like you were about to say something and and then you didn't. Oh yeah. Uh, no, it was dumb. Nothing. No, it's, no. Go ahead. The card we'll is, wait. Card is full. <laughs> That's <laughs> that is dumb. I know. All right, so we'll get grab the last of this audio. So what's up? audio um yeah so that's it thank you everybody andrew for uh, helping us out with uh, the images and trivia and everything you do and ordering 14 fanny packs already and they just now got released so yeah go over to teespring on our uh, talkingbeards.com website order some fanny packs and there's masks on there too that's what scott was trying to show everybody but you yeah know, I'll, I'll have to fix that we'll post it later yeah so that's it Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'm out of here. Go ahead. All right. I am Scott Sakura. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and Twitter if you want, but I don't go on there. Uh, but I am there. Um, but uh, make sure you guys go over to TalkingBeards.com. There you can find everything you need to know about us, like all the stuff about the podcast, which is now four episodes behind, which this one's going to be even more screwed up right now because of the recording just ending. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it all figured out. Um, anyways, you can uh, check out the podcast there. You can check out the latest episode of Talking Beards. Uh, this show right there is will be up for the next week. So if you missed it, 
and you don't want to watch it on Facebook, you can watch it at talkingbeards.com. You can subscribe to the podcast there. You can also check out our Teespring store, like we said, with the new fanny pack and the new mask that we just put up. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out any of that stuff, that helps us uh, you know, get some stuff done with the show, which we greatly appreciate. And that's about it for tonight. So we want to thank everyone. We want to thank Chad and uh, Matt and Jason for stopping in tonight. And thank you, Aaron and Natalie, for uh, broadcasting live for from Orlando. Um, and they make bread down there, don't they? They do. Orlando bread. It's the uh, magical fruit, they, they call it. Does the mask cover the beard? Yeah, like this much of it. Yeah, like this. Mo- I don't know. It uh, that really is uh, tough to, to show because I was trying to look at it uh, earlier, and uh, I'll try to. I'll, let me pull up a picture real. Quick. No, it does not. Unfortunately, it will not. But it is really cool, though. It's you amazing. Know? Let me show it real quick. I'll show okay, everyone real quick. Uh, talking beards. Da, da, da. Boom. There it is. And it comes in a uh, a bunch of assorted colors. So all the colors. Actually, the fanny pack comes in. Uh, all the colors as that, well. Yeah, that also comes in. It looks like a banana. That is really funny. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, here's the, uh, here's the mask. Uh, you can buy one for your grandma. You know, it looks like it really does. We should put some teeth on there. Make it look scary. like us so everyone thank you for checking the show out tonight we greatly appreciate all of you and one last thing before we go what are we supposed to do everybody share this episode thank you for watching appreciate you okay bye okay bye